pump uh, pulley removal. This is on GM Saginaw Power Steering Pump, I guess. You're going to need this little kit with these fittings. This is just a cheap Harbor Freight one, which is kind of sucky. So, And in there, you're going to have some studs, which is we got to pick the stud. This main nut and this, or the shaft and a nut that screws into there. And it's also going to screw into there. Make sure it screws in there and get a decent amount of threads. Now we're going to put this on. Do not want to hammer on these. They just ruin the pump. So we just set it on a little bit. I put a little grease already so it won't have no issue. And we put a new seal in there. This are on here. Came with the kit. Putting this on. I tried doing this by hand. Actually, it didn't work too bad. But I needed to put the spacer on. Now my only issue, this isn't against here. This is just kind of half measuring it. It looks like it's still a little off. It's just not lined up. And this, you can try to hold it by hand tighten it, but that won't happen. So this is 13 16 and this is 13 millimeter or half inch. Just to keep tightening it. Tightening it. I had a second way to do this because this pulley had play and it was going boom, boom bopping around. So I put the belt on. And there we go. Now it's all tight. I can do it. Perfect. So there is it. That is done. So that's a power steering pump. And I did some Googling and stuff too. There's a couple people with uh, the belts. There's the site that that was from. 3384 Chevy trucks. There's a couple other ones. But once the belt was on, we were able to tighten it down all the way. We'll take the tool off, make sure there's no play in there. And we'll go from there.